doctor's office doing my pre-op appointment with my primary care physician. Uh, they're just going to do some labs and things like that just to make sure that I am fit for surgery, which is happening in a few weeks. She said all of my vials and everything are good, and I'm heading down to the second floor to do my labs. So, here we go. Hello. I've been waiting over in half an hour just to get my labs done and when I went in the room she said that there were six people ahead of me. I'm just going to go with my gut that is saying to go to the one that I know and I'm hungry. So today is a day that I'm doing my solo brunch so I'm going to do my solo brunch. Then I have an appointment at two o'clock after that appointment then I'll head over to that location and get the labs done because I'm not waiting here for another half an hour. Just not doing it. <laughs> there Catherine here I am fully awake <laughs> um, I've been in and out of sleep since leaving surgery this morning uh, we got there around 530 the surgery started around 730 and it went really well I was really nervous because as I mentioned I've never had that doctor before and just the nerves just going into surgery I was an insomniac the entire week it was very hard for me to sleep. Um, on Wednesday, I think I got one hour of sleep, but I'm grateful, I'm thankful that it is over. Um, I do have some cramping and some kind of soreness down there in that area, as well as in my throat, which he said would be expected because of the tube. I also have like some um, cuts like on my inside of my lip and then the inside of my cheek which hubby is saying is probably due to the tube because he said that my lips were like white and super dry after surgery. So um, that's that. Um, the IV hurt like so bad. Like as soon as she put it in, it hurt. Um, so I'm pretty sure that I have a bruise there. But all in all, everything went well. Um, I'm happy to kind of just relax and unwind this weekend. So it is a few days later. Um, I had surgery on Friday and today is Monday. I'm feeling a lot better today, but I wanted to give you guys kind of a quick recap on how Friday went, how Saturday went, and how Sunday went. Um, so Friday, as I mentioned, we traveled to Virginia to uh, spend quality time with my family. And so I was able to spend quality time with my mom and my niece. And uh, my husband was able to spend quality time with our nephew, who is also his godson. So that was great. Started feeling crampy around seven or eight. Um, so we left my mom's house at that time we picked up dinner on the way to the hotel, checked into the hotel and then, um, got ready for bed. I hardly slept that night. I was an insomniac. I just watched YouTube and played on Pinterest. Um, but I woke up feeling pretty rested. Saturday, we all went to brunch. My husband, my parents, my two sisters, our niece and our nephew, and we had a really great time. We left from there and went to go visit my grandmother. We gave her her Mother's Day gifts. And then uh, we left from there and went to my husband's family, um, family's house, and we spent quality time there with them, which was super fun. They were playing video games and listening to music and dancing and just overall just having a really good time. Um, even though I didn't participate much, um, I did play a few video games. That evening, I was feeling okay. Um, until I woke up to use the bathroom and I started feeling the pain and I don't like to use the word pain but I was feeling the pain my back was hurting my cakes were hurting it was a lot going on um, in addition to that I was feeling very cold and so I was literally quivering and shaking my husband took off his sweatshirt gave it to me put on I put on his socks um, just to try to keep warm. And that was probably the hardest part of uh, recovering was that night. 
Um, the next day was pretty easy going. We spent quality time uh, with my husband's family again. Also on Sunday, I spoke with my nurse and I explained to her kind of the pain and discomfort that was happening throughout the night and early morning. And she explained that the back pain is probably not related to the surgery and that it was probably muscular. So she suggested that I was probably, you know, having muscle spasms. So I was happy to know that because then I knew what to do because I've had muscle spasms before. Um, and so I spent the, the rest of the evening feeling pretty good. Um, I woke up this morning feeling pretty good. I woke up a little bit later than normal, but um, overall just felt really good. I um, still feel a little achy and I'm just gonna take it easy for the rest of the day. So it is Thursday. The last time that I spoke with you guys, it was Monday and a lot has happened in the last few days. So Monday afternoon, I got chills again. It was pretty bad. It kind of felt like my insides were like shaking and my body was trembling so hard. It wasn't it wasn't as bad as Saturday, but it was pretty bad. Um after that, of course, I got sweats and kind of like the same cycle as as Saturday. Like I had the chills and I had the sweats. Um, then the abdominal pain and back pain. Um, so that happened on Monday. And then that same sequence happened again on Tuesday, like clockwork, like right around the same times. So I decided that I would go first thing in the morning. You say you're feeling chills and feverish? Yeah, like um, Saturday. It happened and then it went away and then it happened again on Monday and again on Tuesday. And so I talked to my mom about it because she's had that surgery done maybe eight times, she said. And so she was like, go to the emergency room just in case you have an infection, they can treat it. I need you to sign here. I know okay. that you just was here, but I, I still need you to sign this. Okay. Yeah. So I sat there. Um, and waited to be called back and she basically said like triage is going to come get you as soon as possible so uh i was probably sitting down for maybe two or three minutes they came and got me they did an ekg they did blood tests they actually took it from two different sources um because they had predicted that it was some kind of bacteria The nurse that was on my left arm was having difficulty with the vein, so she ended up using my hand and it hurt. I don't know if it hurt because when they did my surgery, they also used my hand and she literally um, poked right underneath. So the one on the top is from the surgery and the one on the bottom is from the nurse. After that, I gave them a urine sample, waited in the lobby for a little while, and then they came and picked me up, took me to a room, gave me a gown and socks to wear. I changed into that. They gave me IV and a antibiotic called Toradol. I spoke with the nurse, I spoke with the doctor. They had mentioned that they wanted to do an ultrasound um, and that somebody um, would be coming to pick me up to take me over there. So I just sat there and waited. Um, she also mentioned that she wanted to keep my OBGYN abreast as to what's going on since the surgery was so recent. So she did that. A little while later, somebody came, picked me up, took me to uh, get the ultrasound done. They did a transabdominal ultrasound. And then they were going to do the transvaginal ultrasound. They had a chaperone there. But then when she realized that I had the surgery on Friday and that it required pelvic rest for two weeks, um, they did not grant her approval to do that. So what she ended up doing was another transabdominal ultrasound. This one was just a little bit more tighter. Like it just felt like more forceful than the first one. Um, then I waited in the lobby for a while for somebody to transport me back to my room, got back to my room and they gave me antibiotics. They gave me one by the mouth and one in the same spot that they did the IV. And then um, an OBGYN came in to speak with me. Um, my personal OBGYN was not there that day and she's a colleague of his, so she spoke with me and she told me that basically I have a UTI and that the antibiotics would help. 
she mentioned that one of the antibiotics would turn my underwear and my urine orange. Um, and so it was pretty cool to see. I actually asked my husband to come look at it. And I left there. I went to pick up my medications, which was two. And then I went to Chick-fil-A, got a lemonade and some fruit, and I took the hardest nap of my life. And after that, I woke up and I felt a lot better. Um, so that was yesterday, and now today's Thursday, and I couldn't be happier. It has been a roller coaster ride, um, this journey of trying to conceive, and then you know having the surgery and then having these complications thereafter has been a struggle on both myself and my husband. Um, so I'm glad that I'm feeling better. I want to thank everybody for their support, their well wishes, their prayers. Uh, it doesn't go unnoticed. So thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please go ahead and hit the like button. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, then go ahead and subscribe. All right, later.